we've got two methods of how to close up your winter sewing containers. That's what we're going to talk about today really quickly. I'm in the middle of my winter sewing. I've got about 75 done and maybe another 50 or so to go. And um, I've got a friend over in the UK named Tim and his channel is TJB, but it's T-E-E-J-A-Y. -E -E. And he does some really beautiful um, gardening videos, so make sure you go over and subscribe to his channel. And, you know, he, I was showing my traditional method, which is the method that Drew, uh, Trudy Davidoff, who is the uh, developer of this system, uh, has recommended and I've used and I'm still using. And Tim came up with a great idea, which maybe Trudy uh, mentioned, but I've missed it, which is to take your container. Okay. Here's your container, and instead of, I just uh, open it like that, cut it like that, and then I tape it all the way around. But his idea was to make slits down here, like maybe two or three slits down that way into the container, and fitting the top over the bottom, and then you don't need to use near as much tape. So there's real advantages to that. So I tried one right here, and I cut, like I said, the slit on the on the bottom piece. I cut slits, one slit all the way around, and then I had to really struggle to get the top on, though. I'm not sure this is going to be for this old dog. This new trick is going to work for me. Um, it absolutely works, and I'm going to try it on several others, but I really struggled with it. Um, to get the bottom bent and, and twisted to get it inside. And it's probably just my container. Like I tried it with a really hard plastic. I couldn't get the bottom inside the top at all. It just kept rolling around. This one is softer, this milk jug, and I was able to get it in, but there was a big gap on one side. Like, a, you know, you could fit your whole finger back in there. And to me, what I think is the beauty of, of uh, really closing it off well is the greenhouse effect. Um, if you don't have any air gaps out, and of course you do have the, the air gap in the top, but you get a lot of condensation inside. And if you leave this open to a lot of air coming in, you're not going to get the same greenhouse effect. So Tim's method really works. You And the, the big advantage is you use much less tape. Okay, well, that's over the years. That's a good, nice money saving. And it's less to hassle with because I only put two little pieces to hold it together. I think I'm going to get the greenhouse effect perfectly with this. The other d drawback is, and it's small, but you'll lose an inch of growing space. And if you'll see my other videos, I've got two big reveals from my last season. It's called the first big reveal and the second big reveal. I know, really original. Anyway, but I reveal my plants. I take the lids off and I show you, and they're just exploding in the pots, literally popping out. So every inch of space, I need every inch of space that I've got. So I'm not sure I'm going to use it. Um, the, the beauty of this technique, and of course anything in life, is we all have such different preferences. And what works for one person doesn't work for another person and vice versa, but all of them work beautifully. So I'm going to try a few more this way so I can save on tape and see if I like this method, and some containers might work better than others. Um, but I know I'm probably going to continue to use my uh, traditional way, which is just to cut them and leave a hinge, and then tape all the way around for that solid good greenhouse effect. Um, but I may <laughs> I may surprise myself and fall in love with this method as well. So I just thought you might want to see that there are you know, several methods of how you can close your containers up. And if you have any other better ideas, um, let me know. I always want to hear that down in the comment section. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, a thumbs up is so appreciated. I get to know that I'm on the right track with you and that you enjoy seeing these videos. So I appreciate you. And I love to see your videos too. If you put your um, YouTube channel down in the video, in the comment section. I'll make sure and subscribe to your channel and come watch your videos. All right, this is Cheryl signing off for today. Bye.